Okay, so today I'm just going to show you how to tie this uh, smallie fly. I This is my go-to fly for creeks and all. So... using a 4.5 millimeter black dumbbell eyes. Okay, uh, now I'm gonna tie my marabou. So, uh, I really suggest going to this website called Fly Shack. They have a lot of like cheap fly tying stuff, and I used to go to Cabela's for some fly tying stuff, and their stuff is just you no, know, not the best. I got my old marabou. All like I'd say 50% of the bag is just junk marabou. It's just not even worth using. So, um, here's all the marabou I got from uh, Fly Shack. You go to Cabela's and get their marabou, it's really not good. Ha about half of the marabou from there, half of the feathers are just junk. So, uh, it comes full. So, one package got me all this. And that's and and they're good quality pieces, like true four four to five inch pieces. A lot of people like tying this in from the tip. I I used to do that. Now I start doing that from the tail, and I can just I usually just get a better wrap. It looks a lot better. It might not look the best right now, but that's going to be covered up with dubbing. Gonna counter wrap the hackle. Now, this stuff is called Polish Anil and it's not like the stuff you get in the store. I got it on Amazon and it still works great. Doesn't fall apart or nothing, so I'm just gonna cut off a few inches of that. I'll put a link in the description. And it comes, uh, I believe it's like $6 and it comes with, uh, different colors and all, so. And, uh, you don't have to use this. Now, you can, uh, another alternative is to, uh, just get some dubbing. And, uh, make like a dubbing head. Like that, you know, tie it on halfway. And then wrap it like that. That's another alternative, but I like this way. I do both sometimes, though, so both are good.
All right, and there it is. That's uh, that's my money smallmouth fly. That's what I use 99% of the time.